So, welcome to the toy store, brother. My IG, thanks for having me again. <laughs> so, you know, this is this is what we love to do. You know, my artistry for the smile designs and this artistry, which you're gonna find out very soon. But we share a passion, we share a passion for this type of toys and everything else. And the key factor in life is to be happy, right? hundred percent, it's all about the happiness. That's what I tell everybody, man. Sometimes, you know, uh, it's not about the money, it's not about this and that. For me, first, happiness. And then, you know, family, you know, and then toys. Peace, <laughs> faith, <laughs> and all the good stuff that God wants his good kids to be around. So, you know, so this is part of the collection, and, you know, I enjoy the diversity. As you can tell, my favorite color is red. You know, I, I am a, 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 an addicted fanatic of the Italian toys. I like Ferrari and Lamborghini. They're predictable and everything else. But when I go to racing, I actually use a Porsche. Because Porsche is a very simple very. car to drive to race and it's predictable. It doesn't lose the, the brakes as well. <laughs> well, it's I was I was I was in a racetrack with the Lambo and uh, yeah, the Lambos were losing the the, the, the brakes. brakes and the Porsche. My friend who had the Porsche, the Porsche was like a lot of has to do with who's driving, how bad are you overheating the brakes, and what type of brake fluids you have. Like for instance, this one we have here, this 488, is a performance car. She, because we call she the horse, 900 horsepower, to the wheel of the car that looks like a slipper. Wow. Well, this car will be outlapped by this Porsche that has half of the horsepower, but it's constant on the track. The turning ability, the braking ability, the curb weight, the balance and everything else will keep this car on the track longer time without having fatigue for tires or brakes. So that's the difference, you know, when you, when, you, when you begin to change and switch cars, the one thing that purpose is who's behind the wheels and how do you prepare the car? It's a you with the artistry. You know, you flow and you develop and you evolve. It's not even using the brakes all the time too, right? The gears too, I have to know the how heat, to control the gears, of course. No way to brake. No way to let go because most rookies don't understand that it's not how much power you have in the engine, it's how good can you use the power on the take out of the turn, which we normally call it track out. When you are next to the apex, you're either braking or accelerating. Normally, we are accelerating a quarter way and you dab on the brake to keep the car under control. Most people will hold the brake longer. Five laps doing the holding brake longer overheats the engine, overheats the tires, overheat. And when you're overheating, is that when you're fatigued, you know, your memory doesn't allow you to paint and draw, that's the problem. And next time on the racetrack, I'm going with him. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What are we going to ride? Because next time you come back, we got to take a whip for a ride and we're going to talk about music. You and know, video. like I you love choose. Porsche too, man. You know, I had a Porsche, I love Porsche, but I think Ferrari, I think every man, you know, they this guy, fancy <laughs> pants and everything else. Look at this. I'm, I'm on Miami vibes, look at you. I'm Dr. G. <laughs> it's small Dude, I just got back from you know, the, 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 the cold country, Canada. I rest it though. I have to put my swag on my Miami vibe, right? To you see got your you. swag. Of course, I like no. that swag. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is just the way we flow. I got my Dr. G smile outfit, no big deal. It matches the blue portion, which is one of my favorite ones. That's, That's your favorite one? No, I said one of my one favorite One of your favorite ones. One of my favorite because each of my cars is a different experience. Right. And you know, when you try to relate, how do you relate like a GT3 to a GT3 RS to two GT4s is just in the experience of how it is set up either for track, for track and the streets, pure power. Because this blue one over here is a GT2 RS and this lady here has roughly about 150 horsepower of pure torque twin turbo. So you can imagine the difference between this that is a track car to this one that is about 650 horsepower non turbo. It's actually natural as great. Different experience, different riding skills, different techniques. So the way I actually enjoy a car is by taking to the track, right? You do two laps to feel and to learn the track and then you let go. Don't take the car to the edge. When you're on a street car that is supposed to be also a track car, you gotta be very careful, guys, because you know. Not only are you not safe enough without the fire extinguisher, without the external uh, engine power cut or anything like that, but you are still a street car. You have no roll cage. You have, and if you have a little roll cage, it's not the one designed, God forbid, you're going to play. So enjoy life, enjoy the cars, enjoy the tracks, but be very respectful. There's always a limit, a limiting the ability to ride and race and the limiting the cars to be able to sustain a predictable uh, performance. So, but, if, if, if you ask me which to choose out of the pack right now to go on and spin on the track, be the GD2 arrest. Really? Anybody that is a car fan. Is this your latest one? 
Yeah, this, this, so I got this no, one for your birthday. This, oh, wait, no, got I got this one last year. That was this okay. is my last year's birthday. Okay. Every year, let, let us begin. My philosophy is when I wake up in the morning, right? It's a celebration of my new birth. It's a new day. For the day of that I was born, every year I've always given me a gift. Amazing. So unfortunately, I'm a sport. <laughs> He's you know, it's like himself. a little kid. Himself. Remember what he said? The you bigger the kid, to. the bigger the toys. You have to. This right. is my reward. Yes. For yes. the totally commitment to totally outperform my yeah. standards and at the same time, my goals. When I reach my goals earlier, I know that I can allow myself a gift that's yeah. gonna keep me engaged and motivated to do what I love to do. Love to do. Which is like you said before, family and our joy of riding and riding and everything else. So I wouldn't take this car to the trap because she's so pretty, man. Come on, man. We gotta take a real horse. Yeah. That. That's what I would take. This lady over here, I don't know. You know, he asked me one time if I would actually use my car. To, to, hang, to hang on a crane. <laughs> come, 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 come. So you know, we got put people together, right? And I said, man, my toys are like my kids. I don't allow touching. They're like in a bubble. Look how impeccable they are. And, you know, he asked me, like, let's hang your SBG Lamborghini from a crane and let me do my art. And you're going to see <laughs> pictures coming up in the video. And right? we had Mr. Hey. Raptors right there wrapping the car. <laughs> what guy can get you to get your car? Play <laughs> my we so we're, we're gonna find we're gonna find a car for him to wrap a different color here. A different color? Yeah. Oh, right. We go to the other the other warehouse. <laughs> the other warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other it. Warehouse. We had the one that you played with. This one, yes, yes. No. So you know, he asked me, "Can we use one of your Ferraris?" Then? But this one in particular, I ordered a long time ago. This is a very special 60 year anniversary oh, of Ferrari. Oh. So they only made I think it was 200 for the world. And there's 20 in America, and this one in particular, it's actually all carbon fiber, it's well set, it has a specific number. So, you know, I want to keep it as, as clean and as For original sure. as possible because all my cars, all my toys have been custom made, customized, tune up, power up, and everything else, and they're probably louder than the average automobile, right? But this one is kind of like a big, big toy that you just want to keep it like this, it's as original as I got it. Yes. Original. So, yes, yes. would I actually have my cars hanging from a crane so that my boy can touch? It's like, I don't know, I gotta think about it again. <laughs> but we did it, we made it happen. You did something incredible. Yes. You know, you know what it is? The entire Miami was talking about. I know, I know. Even my buddy Bray, he's like, that was, that, 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 that was, it was crazy, yeah. That was yeah. Wild. Bar, we should And it came out really, really nice. I know you guys are gonna appreciate that because. What is your next project about? Can we share that yet? Or but by the way, you know we sold that lamp, right? My collector in Canada, he bought it. He just arrived in Canada. Yeah. All the corn and everything else? Yeah, yeah. He bought that. He bought us an NFT, right? On my platform, uh -huh. New World. And he came with the car. So he bought the NFT that came with the car. So listen to this because that was the next question I'm going to ask you. So your NFTs, yeah. if the average consumer wants to go and buy the NFT and invest into the NFT, which it's great to have the diversity of portfolio. Why would I want to buy the Lambo NFT versus all the OU pieces of art? Uh, it's just different, right? Pretty much some of my NFTs uh, is just like the digital artwork. Correct. Right? I don't, I don't attach anything to it, but this one was actually the first one that we decided to create the NFT with, you know, because there's a lot of people doing this, even Rich the Kid, Rich yeah, the Kid, yeah. he created his NFT, and then, you know, whoever bought his NFT, he was giving his Maserati, right? So it make it more interesting, it make it more, uh, I think, personal, that you getting something from, you know? This is specific, the strategy that I use for my trading. When you're getting something that is tangible, you're attaching a tangible asset yes. to your NFT. Now you have the ability to sell the NFT, you still hold that asset. And that's what matters because it's what is called security in the world of trading. Trading is the art of gambling with predictable, in quotes, controllable results if you use risk management ratios. And I'm very conservative with my trading, but I am also the type of trader that I take my profits and I convert them into a different asset, whether it be real estate, automobiles, jewelry, Smart. whatever it is. I don't keep the assets within the same trade, if it makes sense to you. So, listen to this. This is a famous artist that he's telling you that he's created his NFTs and now he attached an NFT with more valuable to a sold product that came in with dual. Yep. 
purposes, and that's fantastic. Yeah, so what's next? Amazing. What's coming up well, next? This kid is full of surprises, bro. You're looking at <laughs> you, you got too much going on. Tell me tomorrow, what's next. Tomorrow, tomorrow. We He's got a surprise, bro. We got we to gotta keep it quiet. You got to keep it quiet? No, I'm going to let you talk. Just say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. My, my people are good. We're going to go check it out tomorrow. Eight million dollar yacht. Listen then we're going to rap. Mr. Raptor is going to bring his whole team to Miami. He's going to rap, and I'm going to spray paint it. Yeah. <laughs> $8 million yacht. So I thought it was going to be an airplane, but the like, yacht came first. Like, like, like an 80, 100 feet yacht? Yes. All right. Yes. So they're going to wrap it, and he's going to paint the whole yacht. That, yeah, how much yeah. time does he get involved in this? Uh, mm, to wrap, I have no idea. Tomorrow we're going to go check it out. Like a weekend wrap. But I would yacht. say, like, for me to spray paint, probably like two to three days. Two to three days. Yeah. So the most complicated deal is actually. Preparing the uh, paint and wrapping the guy. Yes. And then correct. the paint job. And then me, the paint job is just me going there, being free and do, you know, do my art. And then do you actually create a glossy finish at the end? So yes, we're gonna longer? have to do this. Yes, because I did, I did a small yacht in, in Toronto, huh? in Canada. But uh, the only that's what he's saying, he's acting, you know, multilingual guy. Yes, from Brazil. Yeah, oh, yeah, in Canada. <laughs> so I did, I did a, a small boat in Canada, and the owner he got super excited. I was like, wait, don't put the boat on the water, we need to clear coat it, right? So he was like, no, I want to, and yes, you know, unfortunately, the predictable clean the, wash, yeah. wash down the paint. He had to pay it again to do it. All right, I have an idea for you. So, one of the things that we do is we like to create memory. As I said before, we like the experiences in our cars and it's every, every, every toy that we have. And I say we because it's, it's myself and my kids. And we go share this beautiful environment, but we actually found this company that is actually from Brazil. Look at the chairs. They are made, custom made, matching the cars. Some of the cars, right? What about if I hook you up with this guy and maybe we create a Dr. Yu smile by the others? For sure. And you? You like that? That now we view, fire yes. and then we glaze it on top again. Yes, yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. I'm waiting for it. So, the Ferrari that we was talking about, that was my latest toy. That was actually the A12 in Largo. This is super fast, and I chose to buy the one that is called Mansory, which is a company from England that they produce a specific um, performance parts and also aero packages for different cars. So, I got one of 16 in the world. Red Ferrari with the uh, it's called uh, Porch Carbon. But it's not here because my son, Raul, he took it for <laughs> your ready weekend. But again, it's something different. So I'm waiting for that chair. It's coming, it's taking about three months because actually adding the Porch Carbon fiber to the chair and embedding it within the whole structure. For sure, for and sure. then the leather, everything else is just squeezed. Look, this, this is, is, this no, is, this is, this is the Brazilian. Look, look, this is the Brazilian one. So, we have a commitment, right? We're gonna do a chair. Let's do it. We're gonna customize it. Real Dr. G smile. That's gonna be fire. <laughs> yeah. Because you did that for me last year. That was beautiful. Hey, everybody has you had another one. Come, come, come.